22-year-old Ironman Rod Zanjik Wangnon. He has had 260 wins. Known as a non-stop aggressor. He just comes forward and he runs through everybody. A whirling dervish of destruction. As everyone knows, I fought last night on one championship against Rod Tang. Um, I lost every round, convincingly. He's become one of the most prominent modern practitioners of Muay Thai. Rod Tang, the Iron Man. Thailand, birthplace of the art of eight limbs. He began training at age seven. So a bit of background of him. Uh, he had his first fight when he was eight years old. The sport of Muay Thai has a documented history going back centuries. Um, moved to Bangkok when he was 14 to join the Jip Mai Non Gym. Children as young as seven are regularly paid to fight. Born to a poor family, but a strong one. Rod Tang chose the only path he knew could elevate him from poverty. The best fighters are trained from childhood, and so the level of skill and competition is through the roof. Even as a child, he was training 10 hours a day. And here we go, Raja Nemnan Stadium, the world famous iconic boxing stadium. Rod Tang comes forward, the human tank. He burst onto the scene by fighting at an unprecedented rate, tallying over 200 fights before turning 20. In his homeland, he became a must-see warrior, a true artist in the ring. Thrust out the jab, there's a right hand. Looking for a dump there, maybe. Rod Jack threads the left hand nicely. Over, over his, you know, 300 fight career on his way to one, has probably fought in all manner of different arenas. He systematically pressures his opponents until they bend to his will. A taste of the power from Rod Zatchuk one on. Simply on another level, Rod Tang. A predator like style. Boom, perfect timing. He bounces into action and doesn't stop till the fight is ended. He's had 262 career wins. I mean, he's, he's a, such a veteran of the fight game, which is crazy considering he's 23 years old. He uses every trick in the book to keep opponents off balance. Each time I would see new things that he was doing, new tricks that he would use. He captured the Max Muay Thai 125 title at age 19. Feels them out. There comes a point where he decides, that's it. He pulls the pin and he goes. And when he does, it's hellacious. He trains at one of the most legendary gyms in Thailand. No frills, no fancy methods, just old school hard work.
Raw Tech comes forward. The Human Tech, the Wrecking Ball. He became the Omnia 135 champion at age 20. Known for his punching power, his aggression. He can put the lights out on you with a body kick or a head kick. Rod Dang made the jump to one championship that same year. At the time when he signed with one, which was uh, 2018, his record was 250, 40, and 10, which is just incredible. It's, an, it's a massive amount of experience. His one debut was one for the ages. A dump there from Rotec, my word! A show of dominance. He was facing a fighter called Sergio Wilson, who was a very, very awkward fighter, very springy, very rangy, very difficult to predict. Rotec with more kick to the Taurus line, here in the second round. He battered Sergio around the ring. Displaying a mastery of the martial arts, which his opponent simply could not match. Back elbow. He's opened up like a house on fire. He's continually pushing forward. There's the left hand. At this point, he was bouncing between one and traditional Muay Thai. <laughs> Dominating in either format. Returning to one, Rod Dang used blistering elbows to batter his way to another victory. Uh, uh, Fadi Khaled, who's another very dangerous fighter, 37 and 4 with 22 knockouts. Rod Dang, a two time Go. world champion. Fadi Khaled, a six time Tunisian champion. He's finding range with his strikes. He can't stand in front of Rod Dang, though. He's got Let's see that again. Cracks him right across the, like, the top side of the head, a very disorientating thing, and you can see his legs go in this position here. He's on the legs! Rotang has staggered with a Tunisian kickboxing champion once already. Of that match. Unanimous decision. 
from the back in the circle and this was against uh, Hakim Hamesh. Two of the best Muay Thai countries of the world, well the best Muay Thai country in the world, Thailand. Writing is known as just a destroyer, he just comes forward and he runs through everybody. But now he's going to start beating him up from the ground up, he starts kicking at his legs and keeping him away with that lead leg, keeps prodding him in the midsection. Good crossing over to the jaw from Rodzak. And adding in elbows to his game. For me, elbows are a game changer. Continually, Hamish having to pick himself up from these dumps of Rodzak Jukwagon. It's deflating, it buries your ego. Look at that control, it just shows the dominance that the Iron Man has inside there. One minute 35 remains, third and final round. Muay because Rod Tang's got such a good grasp of the kicking range, the knee in range, and the, and the punch in range, adding those elbows in makes him an, an even more lethal uh, problem to deal with at close range. Nice elbow there from Rod Tang to the orbital of Hakim Hamish. For brilliant contest. Rod Tang Having already won two titles in Thailand, Rod Tang would set aim on the one Muay Thai flyweight world title. Jonathan Haggerty, as I said, so he's 17 and four with 10 knockouts, a very, very talented fighter. Um, ISKA and WBC Muay Thai champion as well. The reigning champion, Jonathan Haggerty, was a beast in his own right. Ready, ready, go! The left of screen, the challenger. Look for the front kicks, there's one from Haggerty. In the opening rounds, Haggerty was able to keep Rod Tang at bay using his reach advantage. But as the rounds went on, now you're starting to see Rod Tang. You can see him at the end of, at the end of that first round, kind of pounding his chest, firing himself up. The Iron Man seemed to get stronger and stronger. They want to go toe to toe now. Rod Tang comes forward. He blasted Haggerty. Body shots. And pulled away on the cards. Haggerty's got to move. He was now a three-time world champion. His next level skill was always on full display. His opponents routinely run away, fearful of confronting the Iron Man straight up. Rod Tung, who defeated Jonathan Haggerty of the UK for the flyweight world title. Guys, guys, you ready? You ready? Time! Salvez must have confidence. Oh, 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 there from Rod Tang, and he calls got Salvez forward. Rod Dang chased him around the ring for three rounds. Salvez is managing the distance, moving back. Come on, is that all you've got? Oh, smack! Walter Gonsalves ran so much that Rod Tang called him out mid-fight. Gonsalves' running was less than entertaining, but
but understandable. I'd run from this beast too. Twenty-two-year-old Rod Dang was now on a nine-match winning streak since entering one. The Iron Man would rematch with Jonathan Haggerty, the man he'd taken the one flyweight world title from. Jonathan, the General Haggerty. In the combat sports world. 22-year-old Iron Man Rod Zangjik Wangnon. He has had 260 wins. A two-time Omnoy Stadium Muay Thai champion. Muay Thai World Champion, Rod the Iron Man Jik Wangnon. This is the main event of the evening. In the opening minute, Rod Dang dropped the former champ with a body shot. Just watch the athleticism on this. In the next round, Rod Dang dropped him again. With another body shot. sent the home crowd into a frenzy. I always forget how young he is because he's got so much experience. He's had 262 career wins. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the main event of the evening. Undertaking over 300 pro fights before turning 23 years old. The man they call the tech, Rod Zangjip won on the champion. 7 and 0. Oh. Undefeated here in one for Rod Tap. Rod Tap will watch it back into the corner. And that's the liver shot. The one that he hurt Jonathan Haggerty with, with Rod Tank saying that his biggest fear in this contest was that Pet Dub would run away from him. Combining all of the abilities he's honed over his impressive young career, he's become a seasoned veteran before turning 24 years old. A thrilling main event. Rod Tang a couple of final salvos and still one Super Series flyweight Muay Thai world champion. Rod Tang. Most recently, he battled with up-and-comer Jacob Smith. 
It was a total deconstruction of Smith's style. In a one super series catchweight Muay Thai contest. This match is presented to you by JBL. Dare to listen. Fake there from Jacob, fakes off the back leg, circles counterclockwise, takes that inside leg kick, then one to the outside leg. Good two punch combo. Even Jacob Smith was quick to admit defeat. I fought last night on one championship against Rodtang. I lost every round, convincingly. Smashing him all over the ring. The cut elbow stepped through as well off the lead hand, and another one from Rodtang. Rodtang, big elbow! Oh, Smith shot open badly. Oh, to the body. Rodtang. A wrecking ball Good, in the yep. first round. He schooled me. He beat me. He was just one step ahead at all times. Watang looking composed and relaxed. Goes right up the middle again. That money box on the head of Jacob Smith. Oh, oh yeah, look at that. Rod Tang won every round and has now set aim on a new goal, MMA. Um, it wouldn't take much to turn him into an MMA fighter as well, which is, which is pretty terrifying. Still so young. The combat sports world sits in eager anticipation of what the Iron Man will do next. Rod Tang appears to be just now entering his prime. Rod Tang, the Iron Man. Never surrender. Nobody brings it home like Joe Vincent. Nobody. Make it so.